the Gore Club Podcast. All right, Gore Clubbers, you know what time it is. It's the season of the witch. It's time to light the bonfires, drink the cider, eat the candy, and tune in every night for a, for a short episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween and the Gore Club Podcast. <laughs> That's awful. Welcome back to the 31 Nights of Halloween. It's been an entire year, and uh, this is one of the few nights, or I guess months, of the year that we can get old creep out of the uh, out of the producer's chair and in front of the camera. Here I am, you guys, the disembodied voice that you've come to know and hopefully love. Blech. Maybe. Hey. You're getting mushy on its show. Yeah. Your show. What the fuck? The show. <laughs> you need me. Uh, so what do we have for each other? My first pick of the Halloween season, my first 31 nights of Halloween pick, is my soul to take. Ooh. Ooh, ah. <laughs> One of the uh, most interesting Wes Craven movies of all time. Interesting is a nice way of putting it. You know, this is actually the oh, last. Go oh, my God. Why do you fuck with it? Because it's sexy, man. It's going to fall. Oh, wow. Wow, what just happened? It fell. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work out, babe. It looks it looks super steady now. Halloween gods help me. What the fuck is that? <laughs> well, anyways, back to your movie pick, the movie that didn't even make its budget back. Hey, it tried its best. It's not a Wes Craven classic, let me just tell you. But it is his last, the last film that he wrote and directed. Fuck. Yeah, it's not really going out on a on a high point, but I love this movie. I really do. It's Dumb fun. You'll you'll notice in a couple of my picks, I maybe don't have the highest brow of choices of a selection for this Thirty One Nights of Halloween. You worked really hard on this, didn't you? You know, okay. These are all movies that I love. So, is it a? Are you judging who I am as a person a little bit? And I hope you all do too. But no, okay. My soul to take is. Kind of your basic teen slasher, which I love. Everybody loves a good teen slasher. We wouldn't have slashers without the teen slasher. Okay. And it's about this evil serial killer who is killed on the same day that these eight children are all born prematurely. So they are called the Ripperton Eight. <laughs> because the, uh, the killer... The villain in this movie is called the Ripper, and I think they live in Ripperton. Of course. Which that worked out well. Oh, Wes. Okay. Well, you know, he wrote his little heart out and he tried. Um, this movie, not only was it, you know, not just the basics of it are not great, but it was a victim of reshoots as well. It was made in like th they they made it in 3D after the fact. They did. Well, it it came out in 2010. So it was kind of right in the midst of, like, My Bloody Valentine remake had been done in 3D just the year before. Like, it was the time of doing things in 3D, even though they were not meant to be in 3D. And this movie should never have been in 3D. There's nothing... I don't remember anything coming at me. It does... Yeah, it does... It adds nothing to the movie. Good choice. And But the acting is really good. Max Terrio as the main, the main guy, Bug, is incredible. And yeah, it's it's a pretty basic, like I said, it's a basic teen slasher, and it's got a whodunit aspect to it, like all the best slashers do. But honestly, I couldn't figure out who the killer was when I first watched this movie. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, and I really like that was something that I really enjoyed about it, and that made me like it because nine times out of ten, you know, you and I both have seen so many horror movies at this point that like a you few. can pretty much yeah, just a couple <laughs> that. You know, you can pretty much pen within the first, like, ten minutes. Like, oh, okay, this is the killer. Here's what's going to happen. And that doesn't mean that it's a bad movie. But with this movie, it's almost the opposite. It's kind of a bad movie. But I didn't know who the killer was. And you know what? That's fun. And I'm not going to spoil it here. So if you haven't gotten the chance to enjoy My Soul to Take, check it out. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> That's your tagline. My you Soul to Take. Fun. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> Jesus. Well, tune in tomorrow night for another one. 31 nights of Halloween. Ooh. And maybe this will stay in place. Nope. No. Okay. Gore Club.